Welcome and welcome to the windy Faroe Islands. Today's recipe is all about salted cod, the bacalao. It's very famous in the Faroe Islands and you can fish them here in the pristine waters and it gets an exquisite taste. This one is the more traditional one. It's uh, dried on the cliffs of the Faroe Islands and it has matured and developed a perfect, perfect taste and then exported all over the world. But today we'll use the salted cut. It looks like this when you buy it. So I just took and rehydrated it for two days and it looks like almost a fresh cut. It is firm and it's a bit salty and it's perfect for brandat, the dish that I'll make today. So I'll just slice this one. I'll just take the bones out here and then I'll slice it. It's really, really white and that's what you're looking for when you're looking at salted cod. And this is just perfect. Actually, you can eat it as it is. Next up, I'll uh, boil the potatoes. Next, I'll pickle the red onions. So I'll take equal amount of water, sugar and vinegar. And I'll just put this over the heat. So while I boil these ones, I will slice the red onions very, very thinly. All right, and now it's cooking already, so I'll just pour them over. And they will turn pink. I'll just leave the onions and they'll be ready when the dish is ready. So now I'll chop the shallots, the garlic, the thyme, saute it, and then I'll chop the herbs. I have um, parsley, and I've got chives, and then I'm ready to combine the dish. Some garlic. I use a lot of garlic in the Mediterranean. So now for some parsley and then chives. Just chop it roughly. All right. So when I saute the onions in the butter, so they'll get really sweet. And that goes well with the salted cut. So now all the flavors, the onion, the garlic, and the thyme just develop. And combine in the pot here. Ah, oh, this is so good and I'm so hungry. <laughs> and then I'll add some milk. And then the bacalao, the pride of the Faroe Islands. In the Basque country, they say that it's the best in the world. Then I'll just poach this in the milk for two or three minutes and then mix it with the potatoes. So, hot potatoes. get a silky smooth mash if you use one of these they're super smart my grandmother used to have one it works all right these are ready the bacalao de las islas Feroe. just makes sense to eat fish in the nature beside the ocean, doesn't it? All right. And some parsley. A little, a little bit of lemon juice. I'll just check it if it needs some salt because you never know with the salted cod, the bacalao, how much salt there is in it. Mmm, taste of the Faroe Islands. I'll just give it a pinch of salt. This is so good. Now that's ready. And the toast is next. So I'll just coat the bread in olive oil and then it's ready to grill.
Brandad with the Ferris Bacalao in the center here. I think I will grate some cheese on top of this. This is cheese that's familiar with Manchego, but you can use any hard cheese. And I think it will work really well. So I have this small pistol here, but you, of course you can do it under the grill just to melt it and get a tiny bit of color as well. It's not too cold, no. <laughs> and then I'll take the red onions, pickled red onions, beautiful aren't they? And they'll get another texture to the dish and uh, some acidity. Chives, and then I'm done. So, brandad made of fairways bacalao with potatoes, shallots, garlic, thyme, a little bit of parsley and lemon juice, cheese, pickled red onions, chives, served on toast. So, as we say in the Faroe Islands, Val Gagnest. Mmm, salted cut, smooth puree, the pickled onions on toast. This is really good. I think you should try it. <laughs> You'll find this recipe, more recipes and information about seafood from the Faroe Islands at faroeseafood.com.